How's it going guys, Sherlock here. For today's video, we are going to be checking out a new Roblox event. Now this event is very new, and at the time of recording this video, I believe this event has had less than 1,000 total players. I'm not quite sure if this event is even official, so by that I mean like, does it actually have prizes or items? But the company hosting this event is actually partnered with Roblox. They have their own Roblox account, they have their own Roblox group. The company I'm talking about is Monster Cat. If you have never heard of Monster Cat before, they are like a music company. I believe they started off on YouTube. Their YouTube channel is pretty popular. It has over 7 million subscribers. These guys have been uploading dubstep style music for decades. I used to listen to this stuff when I was around 9 and 10. Honestly, stuff like drum and bass, glitch hop, dubstep, that was like the first music genre that I ever got into when I was a kid. Anyway, let's go and play Monster Cat's brand new Roblox event. I found out about this originally over on Twitter because Monster Cat tweeted out this. We're proudly launching our very own Roblox world today. Explore Monster Cat's lost civilization while completing quests to earn rare items, score exclusive Monster Cat merch for your Roblox avatar, and dance to your favorite artist's music. And they went ahead and linked the game, so of course we're going to play it. These two parts stand out to me. Earn rare items and score exclusive Monster Cat merch for your Roblox avatar. Does this mean we can get like free merch and free items? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Here is their official Roblox profile, and they are actually in the game. So maybe we can try and join them. Maybe we get this shirt for free. I don't quite know. I'll tell you what, guys, I will leave a link to this game in the video's description. So if you guys want to check it out, play it for yourself, then feel free. Monster Cats Lost Civ. <laughs> yeah, that sounds kind of weird, I guess. This thing is literally like brand new. 864 visits. Updated 10 minutes ago. Let's see if we can play it, and let's see if we can join Monster cat joining the game let's see what this is like it looks pretty cool this art i kind of like this it looks nice so everything is just loading in oh this is actually very loud hold on let me just go ahead and mute this quickly because i can't actually hear myself speak but yes in the game we're just going to accept this close out of this so just on the game's lobby we have got quests monster cat pin these aren't actual items though they must be in-game items because i checked on the catalog and they're definitely not ugc and they're definitely not uploaded on the roblox account so I guess these are in-game items. So how do we get like the clothes and stuff? They worded it a bit strange. I'm kind of curious to see like what items they're actually talking about. If we can get free clothes from this game, then honestly, like that's really good. It looks like we have to collect these tokens, which are kind of like hidden everywhere. What is this? This laser thing looks sick though. Look at that. I really like that effect. That looks really cool. I just realized this game is kind of just like a Roblox concert event, but it's a little bit different because normally concert events are like based on one artist. But this game appears to be based on many different artists. Obviously, it's playing like so many different artists songs. Oh, and I think we just found the merch store as well. So we can go in here and is this stuff free or do we have to buy it? It looks like we might have to buy it. And all of this stuff kind of looks the same. Is there any like unique stuff with the Monster Cat logo on? Oh, maybe some of this stuff in here. How much is this stuff? Uh, so if I go on, let's try and buy shirt. How much is it? 20 Robux. I guess it's all right. Kind of cheap. They could have made it five. Not going to lie. This stuff looks all right kind of looks like a university logo or something i just noticed something guys if you run through one of these doors they're actually like portals and they kind of teleport you to like these kind of like egyptian style i don't even know what this is it looks like a tomb or something it looks like some like egyptian tomb it looks like we just got a stick or they call it a torch so i guess we can equip this oh there you go we got the badge oh i didn't check out the badges i guess we can have a look at the badges in a second i'm not gonna lie this game is a bit confusing it is a bit random i'm not really too sure what i'm supposed to be doing i know i've got the quests and stuff <laughs> it looks like we found the bandana i'm gonna go ahead and get this i will try and equip it there you go we got the monster cat bandana we got a badge i'm guessing if i go on my inventory i can actually equip this stuff oh yes it's true you can so it turns out these items are in-game only items they do call them exclusive items but you can only really use them inside of the game so yeah in-game only items not really that exciting i honestly don't know why these guys didn't just like contact roblox and say like like, let's make these actual accessories. Why did I just get killed by that? Oh, well. Honestly, guys, if all of this stuff was like proper Roblox accessories, this event would have been really popular. Like, people would have just loved this. It looks like we've got loads of merch, actually. I don't even know if any of this stuff is worth buying. I can't actually find stuff with, like, the original Monster Cat logo on. That would probably be the best thing if you had something with, like, the OG Monster Cat logo. I think that would look quite iconic. And the game's alright, though, so if you guys want to check it out, this is, like, some lava mini game 
game or something. You have to jump on the platforms before they disappear or sink. Let's see if I can do it. Wait, what? How are you supposed to do that? They just disappear when you're standing on them. Is this mini game impossible? Because so many people are standing on the pads and they're just disappearing. Like, how do we even do this? Okay, I think we've done it. There you go. It wasn't too bad. And now we're on to the second part. Wait, this is actually hard. Because if you die while playing these mini games, you just get spawned like back to the dairy start. So it's actually kind of frustrating. Anyway, let's collect this thing. Let's go down here, collect another one. There is honestly so many tokens to collect. Jump over here. There you go. We got the cap. The cap looks so cool. Could you imagine if this was a real Roblox item? People would love this. That's enough of the temple mini game thing, whatever that is. I don't want to film every single quest because obviously you guys don't really care. Oh, that's what I was looking for. The monster cat OG clothing, like the OG logo. You know what? I'm going to buy that. Five Robux. That's not too bad, I guess. Congratulations. You earned the monster cat plushie. What did I even do to get that? Did I get that from purchasing this shirt? That's actually pretty cool. I really like that. That looks sick. What the hell has happened to my avatar's arm? Look at this. Why does my avatar's arm like look so weird? One annoying thing, actually, every time it plays a new song, it pops up like this and I keep on having to close it down. But look at this, guys. We have got the monster cat DJ. Maybe if we go up to him, we can get some badge or maybe some type of prize. This actually looks pretty sick. This is such a big missed opportunity. I don't know why Roblox didn't make this a real event. And look at this. The monster cat is even doing the OG Roblox dance. Who remembers this? Was this called like the monster mash potion or something? That dance? I don't know, but that looks really funny. I didn't want this video to be disappointing for you guys. So I have actually made you a free item. I have made a free monster cat shirt. So go to this link. I will leave it in the description. This is actually an image. So keep in mind that this is not a t-shirt. It's an image. Because it's a Roblox image, you have to right click it and then select save image as. Keep in mind it hasn't loaded in just yet, literally because I made it like a few seconds ago. Anyway, go to your create tab, go to t-shirts and then go ahead and upload it. And then you guys want to get this, the Roblox shirt simple pattern. This is free and it's made by Roblox. You guys guessed it, simply equipped all of the stuff. So the Monster Cat t-shirt, the Roblox simple pattern shirt, the Roblox black jeans, you can wear this if you want to, and the Roblox baseball cap. All of this stuff matches, it looks pretty cool. I think Roblox just accepted it, so let me redraw my avatar. Maybe not, I can show you guys what it looks like in a game anyway. Oh, they have actually accepted it. So like I was saying, just right click it, save image as, and then just upload it. And there we have it, works on R6 and R15. And that is how you get the Monster Cat shirt for free. So you don't necessarily have to buy it for five Robux. If you want to donate to them, you can, but that's how you get it for free if you want it. And honestly, it looks pretty good. You guys might as well just upload this. I guess that's all I have to say about the Roblox Monster Cat event experience, whatever you want to call this. I just want to make it clear that this is not actually a real Roblox event. Yes, it has badges, it has in-game items, it has a clothing store, but none of these prizes are free and you can't actually get them on your avatar. Well, unless it's some of the clothes, but you have to purchase it anyway. And like I said, it's a shame it's not a real Roblox event, but there's not really much we can do about it. Maybe it will become a real Roblox event in the future. Who knows? But no, honestly, guys, check out the game. It's pretty cool. Loads of badges, loads of in-game items, clothes you can buy. I just saw this from RBX News and they said there's 75 new tracks for Roblox developers. So if you wish to add Monster Cat music into your own Roblox games, obviously it's copyright free, then go ahead. You can do that. It's pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. The new Roblox Monster Cat experience. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it interesting, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.